why have I decided to film beside the busiest highway in Canada? That's the 401 right there. That highway, it goes from, look how tall I am and there's two of me. It goes all the way from Toronto to Montreal. And in Montreal is where Paul James lives. Paul, thank you for upping your donation to me on Patreon. It means so much to me. I totally appreciate it. It's because of loyal viewers and supporters like you, Paul, that allow me to do this and keep going and give me the strength and determination to keep making these videos. So Paul, thank you. And when you come to Toronto, I think in October, I'll see you. Go Habs, but go Leafs more. All right, today's video. Hello! I know you're gonna dig this. It was a run by Fruzine. Everyone remember that line? Loser. Yeah. Oh, the terrorists, they ran that way. It was a run by fruiting. I'll get them, sir. Don't worry. Everyone remembers Mrs. Doubtfire, right? Of course you do. It's one of the most beloved movies starring one of the most beloved actors ever, Robin Williams. And the house from Mrs. Doubtfire is right here. Right here in front of me. Are you ready to see it? It's pretty, pretty incredible. Here it is. This is the house right here from Mrs. Doubtfire. Now, if you haven't seen Mrs. Doubtfire, so it's Robin Williams, Sally Field, and he plays a divorced dad who doesn't get to see his kids enough. Now, I'm trying to remember his act plot. Anyways, he dresses up as a housekeeper, calls himself Mrs. Doubtfire, so he can get a job looking after his kids, so he can have more time to spend with his kids. I'm, you know, I'm kind of getting the plot a little, well, yeah, that's the plot. He dresses up as a, a woman, as a housekeeper, so he can, as an old British lady, so he can look after his kids. And it was shot right here. This is the house from him. It is such a funny movie. Even to this day, it's still funny. Uh, I am Job. I am Job. Love it. Hello! Right here. Look at this house. Oh boy. Whoops. Look what just came out of the ground. Somebody's clipping plants. Sorry. I'm kind of trying to think about what his most iconic roles are. Robin Williams' most iconic roles. Goodwill Hunting, he won an Oscar for. Mrs. Doubtfire. Good Morning Vietnam. Well, Mork and Mindy for TV. Did you know that Mork and Mindy was a spin-off of Happy Days? He actually played the character of Mork on Happy Days. Um, I, my personal favorite other than Mrs. Doubtfire, would probably be One Hour Photo. If you want to check that movie out, it's a really dark film, and he plays a really creepy dude, and he's incredible in it. I'm letting you go. No. Oh, uh, can't do this. It's done, Simon. Robin Williams was such a great actor. It's hard to believe he's gone. He's it was such so lar so much larger than life. Here's the house behind me as I talk so much larger than life and I was just talking to a friend on the way over here I was telling them where I was going and I was saying that well they were saying that it was so shocking when he died because and the way that he he left us it was so shocking because you don't expect a comedian and somebody that's that's make you makes you laugh so much to leave the earth in such a way 
And I said, and I also think, then I said, I think that he spans so many generations. I mean, he was the voice of the genie in Aladdin for one generation. He was Mork from Mork to another generation. For me, he's Mrs. Doubtfire. You know, so he spans a lot of different generations. He's, he, and, and it really struck a chord with so many, many, many people when he passed away. I actually just went through the Robert Williams Tunnel. I didn't realize, well, earlier this morning, it's a tunnel named after him. I only had time to snap a picture. And it's good that they're honoring him here. I'm gonna show you more of the house now. It's a very difficult house to miss, even though a lot of the houses in this area look the same. This house really does stand out with the columns. These columns right up front. And the, well, we call it in Canada the, the stoop. The front stoop. And the circular bay windows. And what a view. Right down to the bay there. That is just gorgeous. Give you some wider shots of it. For all you filming location buffs. Oh, UPS is going right up inside. Shall I go along with him and see if... Oh, he's just leaving a package at the door. That's too bad. I thought we'd get a glimpse of the inside. Not that I would film it. Well... I mean, I'd be curious to see, right? Who wouldn't? And I just wanted to add that I had the opportunity to meet Rob Williams once at the Toronto Film Festival. And it was, I believe it was around, it would have been around 2002. I think he was shooting Death to Smoochie, a film he did, which is a really dark comedy as well with Danny DeVito. Did Danny DeVito direct it or Ed Norton's in it? It's Ed Norton and uh, Rob Williams. I think Danny DeVito only directed it. I can't remember exactly. But it's a dark film too and it's good. But I had the opportunity to meet him in an elevator. I was doing some work at the Toronto Film Festival. And he got in the elevator carrying a tray of coffees, like a Starbucks tray with like four or five coffees, one in the middle actually, I remember that, a tall one. So he was going out to the Starbucks just by himself to get coffee for wherever else he was going up to see, or stay, I guess he was staying there. He's a regular guy. And I can't remember what I said to him, but I said something to him and I made him laugh. And it was the greatest feeling in the world. And he laughed, he put it, he did that Rob Williams thing where he put his head down and he laughed really hard. And I can't remember what it was. Now, again, I'm not trying to make this about me. I'm just telling you a little anecdote. It was really, it was a really sweet moment. I'll never, ever forget that. Being in an elevator with Rob Williams and hearing him laugh. And knowing that I made him laugh by just saying some stupid thing. I don't know. When I found out that he passed away, I got the news on TV, and uh, I was working somewhere, and then I went outside, and this lady that I kind of know walked by, said hello, and we talked for like about two seconds, and I said, oh my God, did you hear Robert Williams passed away? And she immediately said, what? No, no, oh my God, no. And then I said, how he did it, that he took his own life, and she just started bawling. She started crying so hard. And I'll never forget that. And I think it could be attributed to one of two things. It could be that she just felt a connection to Robin Williams like we all did. Still do, maybe. Or it triggers something for her. Maybe someone in her life had done the same thing. But I gave her a hug and it was just, it was uncontrollable sobbing and I'll never forget that. His death really affected a lot of people and still does. It sucks that he's not here. So let me show you another shot of the house right here. The steps from the film right here. Front door. There you go. This is a tourist attraction in San Francisco. I was just here when I got here a little bit of like 20 minutes ago. 
People are sitting right down there taking pictures. People come here to pay tribute. And after Rob Williams passed, actually, people came and left flowers and tributes outside of the house here. But that movie, Mrs. Doubtfire, it lives on. It is a classic. The house where he passed away isn't too far from here. And I was thinking about doing a video about that either with this included to the Mrs. Delphi house or a separate video. And then I thought, no, no, I don't want to do that. I don't, I do do darker subjects occasionally, but that is just something, I don't know, I just said no. It's a gorgeous house. That's an understatement. And you can see here the windows you can see there with the tree and the birds. It's really awesome. These columns are impressive and it's tall. And with these views, come on. And San Francisco, and look, I love the area because a lot of, this is not too far from downtown San Francisco. It's controlled by stop signs instead of stoplights. And it actually works. I was getting frustrated driving in uh, another part of San Francisco where it's all stoplights. But these stop signs, I'm liking it. Controls traffic a little better than stoplights. All right, so from San Francisco, the Mrs. Doubtfire House, right here, right behind me. Robert Williams, God bless you. Peace to you. Peace to all of you. I love you all, you know that, but I wanna say it every time to make sure you really, really do know that I love and appreciate every one of you that watches my videos. All right, time for me to go somewhere else. As these people get annoyed by me trying to cross the street. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at the Mrs. Doubtfire house. You look too, it's iconic. Wait, it's iconic. Peace out.